do you think Jeff Lewis stole you from Howard or stole you from Heather McDonald? <laughs> I, I think he stole us from Heather. For us, the stuff that I really loved was when I think Julie, you probably had gigs, but you would turn them into opportunity. Like I remember you did the, the women's Michigan music festival. Oh, well, yeah. And then that one, <clears throat> the Michigan Women's Music Festival video that we did, which we we did for uh, technically, I guess, for Autostraddle or whatever, is one of our most infamous videos. And we had YouTube had us take it down approximately 12 times. Uh, Every single time we would re-edit it and put it back up, whether it was a song or a tit or a boob or a face <laughs> or a butt or whatever it was. And every time was another black bar over a boob, another black bar over a boob, black bar over a butt is crack. Is this black Brandy bar where you had to like, you got the thing to pee out the tent? Yeah. Were they upset about that too? Or that was fine? Not yet. I don't think the pee. Someone the, will be. The pee style. But, it was mainly, you know, accidental like nudity because everyone's topless at, at Michigan. The the level, the time it took to put black bars over <laughs> every boobs was was a painstaking long term yeah. project. Yeah. But that almost broke up our friendship. I was like, you can figure it out. <laughs> and I would hover over her. She says, still the it's same. Like, I don't want to do it. The same editing proce process uh, we have to this day. Uh, I'm like, let's Google it and we'll YouTube it and figure out how to do it. Yeah. I'm not an editor. She gets so mad. Now that you're doing video for dumb, for the dumb gay podcast, your podcast, has it driven you mental yet? Dealing with yes. video? Uh-huh. Yeah. The answer is yes. Yep. <laughs> Editing is annoying. Um, I am I am an inconsistent, forgetful, very annoying person. And so when you deal with someone who is a perfectionist and doesn't forget and uh, it, it, it can make for a, a, a challenge, I always forget how to do it. Every single time is a new time. It's like I'm in a, a it's like I have a, a, a thing, a, a brain. Memento. You know, where you're yeah, like, it's like yeah. Memento. It's like Memento, Jess. <laughs> do, you know, do you know whose fault this is? Who's? <laughs> it's Howard Stern's fault. I think the only, I think the only reason podcasts are now a visual medium, I think this, if you go back, I mean, I was a huge Howard Stern fan, especially in like the Artie Lang era. And mm. Every single day, I would be obsessed with watching Howard TV. I paid extra for the whatever. And I think maybe I'm wrong. Maybe this is just my personal experience because that's the first time I ever saw like a televised version of a radio show. Of course, you get the E! show. But otherwise, why are we filming? Like I'm annoyed. Like I'm going to have to edit this for fucking right. YouTube. <laughs> you know, with like Julie was hacking yeah. up a lung two minutes in. Yeah. Like I'm going to. Yeah. You, you have know, to. You have to. But <clears throat> yeah. Did you did you guys ever make that connection with the Howard? I always video? thought it was because of YouTube, but mm. Howard makes complete sense because it is weird. It's supposed to, to be a Especially fucking when, radio show. Yeah, it's an audio medium for sure. The second Howard Stern showed us first of all, he's also got the he's got they're doing bits. They're playing the xylophone with their dicks. They're like doing weird shit. It's like, of course I want to see that. So he made it so that like anything they do is visually even fascinating. Yeah. Like it's almost like he ruined radio because he, they're so <laughs> they're so funny and they're doing regular. They're doing they're doing the kind of things you could do on TV and they do it on the radio. And it's it's addictive. And so I want to hear it. I want to see it. I don't ever want it to stop. I mean, that's the thing with Howard Stern. It's the the le the level of addiction between watching it and hearing it is is beyond. It's unhealthy. Do you think I feel it too? Do you think Jeff Lewis stole you from Howard or stole you from Heather McDonald? <laughs> I I think he stole us from Heather. I mean, we knew Jeff from Bravo. Um, we had met him at Leah Black's a bunch mm, of times. Right. He was a he, he was a he didn't like people's couch. But he was a huge fan of the Vanderpump Rules after show. Huge. He was obsessed with asking us all the details. And and he, he loves talking money and deals and bravo. And so we would we would hang out with him all the time. Um, but he was very particular about who went on his stupid fucking show. <laughs> and um, I, have he, a, I, have a, I have a loose connection to somebody who was in the original cast of Queer Eye. 
this guy is like a, a cabaret performer. You probably can deduce very quickly who it is. But he was in the original Fab Five. He used to be on Broadway in New York. Anyway, he's now been in movies. Oh, we know who it is. Yeah. He, Jeff, he has asked to go on that show multiple times and Jeff will not have him on. Maybe it's, yeah, his, like, maybe it's his booker. But he was in the no, movie. I mean, if he, he was, was on he Heather, had a Jeff speaking, will have him on. He had a speaking role in the movie Bros and he wouldn't have him on to like promote it or promote his shit. Yeah, I mean, you should um, advise him to go on Heather McDonald and then Jeff will definitely have him on because that's where Jeff <laughs> yeah. gets all of his guests. The pipeline. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, he... We knew him. We knew him well. We knew him personally. We were from Bravo. He, I'm assuming, knew our brand back then. I mean, he watched the Vanderpump Rules after show. I guess we weren't, you know, I don't think we were hilarious on that. But, I mean, you could still get it. And we had fun with him in real life. And he still he was adamant. Like, he wouldn't, he never would have us on. And then all of a sudden, one day, right after we um, were on Heather's Instagram, he he came to dinner with us with, with Leah Black and he and he was interested in having us on. And I mean, it was pretty clear that it was because we were on her show. Did he pay um, you guys from the very beginning? Was that was yeah. that an evolving thing? No, he pays he pays everyone that comes on, no matter how big or, you know, small. He pays everyone who sits there. Um, which was cool and very unexpected. We had never been paid before. We do not get paid for the wrap-up show, Howard Stern wrap-up show. It's totally, regardless of what fucking rumors are going around or what's being said, that is absolutely not the norm at all. And Jeff does that so that he can be in control of people. And whatever whatever his reasoning is, maybe it's serious. I mean, maybe it's not even that nefarious. Whatever the reason he pays people, it's not the norm. And for sure you don't get paid to do Howard Stern wrap up show. And we would obviously, and that's the reason because we would pay to do it. We would send yeah. Rasan money to go in there. <laughs> like, but it's, also, we're it's like, also not the norm to take the guests out to dinner the night before so that you can, I mean, that is a brilliant strategic move because it built your developing chemistry with the person before it's yeah. like an awkward, you know, there is a degree of awkwardness if you've never interviewed a person before. And it, yeah. it, inherently now you just have something so natural to reference or to talk about mm -hmm. so I wonder he does where he have got you, that idea from he has you also go early and go to breakfast before like which oh. we never got breakfast but so there's there's also 30 minutes sitting mm -hmm. at like a coffee shop prior for everyone prior to the show so um and during COVID it was like just at his house I You're remember like that his, yeah so I remember thinking that is such like a COVID den. Like you, we'd see the pictures, like they'd post the pictures just inside. The house. I was like, yeah, that was when we first yeah. did it. It was so yeah. crazy, nerve wracking, like going so into crazy. of all the people's homes. It'd be like Jeff and like Lisa Vanderpump. I would probably be the most Ugh. like their houses are kind of iconic just in general. It's like Jeff Lewis, we were in his actual house. Like it was so crazy. Yeah. yeah. At one point, it was so Zoyla, exciting. Zoila walked in. At one point during the show, and I got up and ran and like hugged her at the door. I was like, "Die!" I mean, done, just dead. I couldn't even believe it was happening. Well, it was yeah, fun for a while, fun for a while, it was fun for a while. Mm -hmm.